So the motion is carried unanimously, and I shall be... <laughs> Mr. Morrison, as you will have heard, the Council have unanimously passed the resolution to admit you to be an honorary freeman of our borough. In recognition of the distinction which you have attained both in national and local government affairs, and of the eminent services which in many spheres you have rendered to the community, and on behalf of not merely the council, <laughs> but of the citizens of Lambeth as a whole, I have the pleasure and the great privilege of tendering to you the right hand of fellowship. <laughs> this certificate of the freedom as mementos of the occasion. Wherever this casket is in the future, it will always be a reminder to you of your early years spent in Lambeth. Um, the idea of this new local government bill is to assist the ratepayers, not to enable the councillors just to put them up again where they were before. So combine a due economy with healthy progress. Sir, it is, it is perhaps because in our country we have been able to reconcile the rights of the people and their elected representatives with the proper functioning of leadership and the giving of responsible counsel and advice of a proper status that our democracy is still and remains and I hope long will remain the most successful democracy to be found anywhere in the civilized world. For example, the new Waterloo Bridge. Yeah. <coughs> and um, Mr. Strauss, uh, that your member of the point I would mention is purely interested, and that is, if you read my speech with any care, you'll admit, I was purely interested in national unity. That is the one thing I care for, and it was only because I cared for it that I spoke. And let me make perfectly clear, therefore, that then, as now, I'm completely non-political. And that being so, I can't uh, talk about that side of Mr. Morrison's career. <laughs> my congratulations and my blessing to Herbert Morrison. Uh, the second reason is purely personal, that it gives me a great deal of personal pleasure to congratulate him. As he said, he and I first came across each other when he was Home Secretary and I had become Bishop of London. And from that day onwards, I've had a very great regard for Mr. Morrison uh, and for his qualities. And I didn't say more than that because most of those qualities he has displayed in the things that he said here tonight, uh, the qualities which have made him a, not only a power, but a power altogether wholesome and helpful in the national life. 